So I learned the hard way that my Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio has a safety feature that uh, if you don't follow the proper procedures when changing your brake pads or your rotor, will leave you with a ton of errors. in the braking system in a weird fail-safe mode. Here are the errors. So what exactly went wrong? Well, turns out that I need to disconnect the negative lead on the battery before doing a brake service. In this particular case, I was replacing my rotors and brake pads, um, the carbon ceramic material rotors and brake pads for the gyro disc steel replacements. But I didn't disconnect the battery lead. So, um, what happens is that when you press the piston um, back into the caliper to create clearance for the newer, thicker pads, um, and then get in the car and press the brake, with the battery connected, the braking system, I guess the ABS system or what have you, or the brake by wire system, um, detects excessive fluid flow because the pistons are... Uh, pressing outward, well, inward, to seat the pads against the rotor. And so you're going to have some excessive travel um, because you had the pistons pressed all the way into the caliper. Well, the car detects that as a fluid leak, seeing that excessive flow. So it throws the braking system into a fail-safe mode where it closes one of the braking circuits and leaves you with only one brake caliper operating up front in one brake caliper operating in the rear. Uh, the car is also in a limp mode. You can't change between the different modes of the vehicle. Um, this car has a race mode as well as um, an eco mode, which is mode A, and a normal mode, and, and dynamic mode, D. Well, when the car is in this brake fail, fail safe mode, you can't you can't change between any of those modes. So the car is in a limp mode, and the braking system is in a fail safe mode. It's a very strange sensation because when you press the brake, it, it's kind of a weird tilt that happens because again, there's only one pad, one brake caliper up front that's operating, and one in the rear that's operating, and it's operating in a crisscross fashion. Um, makes sense. But uh, it's kind of silly, I think, to not have something selectable in the menu to tell the car that you're about to do a brake service so that you don't throw the car into this crazy Christmas, Christmas tree lit <laughs> instrumentation. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm waiting for a set of multi-ECU scan cables to get here that one of the Julia forums members was kind enough to send to me. Um, I have the OBD link MX plus Bluetooth reader. So I'll connect that to the, uh, to the gray cable, which is what I need to connect to the ABS system. Um, and then I'm going to use multi ECU scan on an iPhone to go into the ABS system and clear the codes, at which point the car's operational parameters should go back to normal. Um, so we'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to walk you through uh, how to clear these codes, you know, if this happens to you. 
Okay, so I'm back. I have my OBD Link MX Plus here in my hand, my OBD2 scanner, and I have my gray cable thanks to a Julia Forms member. So, first thing is connect the OBD2 scanner into the gray cable because that's what we're going to need to read the ABS module with multi ECU scan. And let's get this plugged in down here. And there, I have a link. Turn the power on in the car. There are all the errors. And now, I'm going to open up multi ECU scan on the phone. Well, first, I don't use an iPhone, I don't like them, but that's what the app runs on. Need to go into settings and make sure that the OBD link, see, it says it's not connected. Let's make sure it's connected. Okay. Now, Alpha Romeo. Julia. 2.9. We want brakes. Continental ABS. Connect. It says connect gray adapter. We've already done that. Okay, let's look at the errors. Reading error codes. Brake booster vacuum switch and leaks in hydraulic group. That's exactly what the form member said the issues would be. Let's choose clear errors, see what happens. No more fault codes. I'm pumping the brakes, seeing if I can get these pads to seat. Let's turn the car off. Unplug again. Pumping the brakes. See what happens. There we go. So we don't have that error anymore. Let's start the car up. service electronic throttle that came up just because when I first got the braking errors I tried to drive the car and so it put me in the you know the throttle limp mode but I'm pretty sure when I clear that out it won't come back but as we can see no more brake error codes and the pedal feels nice and firm too so that's that